I got started with soccer. This is actually a funny story. So I have an older brother. Um, he's two years older than me and he was four at the time I was two. And my mom lied about my age, said that we were twins because like the age minimum was like four. So I could play with my brother. And like from the start, I was just like dicing people up, little two year old me. And ever since then I've been playing. So it's 18 years now, crazy. When I think of the word leader and leadership, I think of humility, I think of sacrifice, I think of solidarity. Those are literally three of our pillars, which is so funny, but I really think of those three things like being a unit, being humble, putting others first. I'm a center back, so the responsibility kind of falls onto me for like, organizing the back line, organizing the midfield, organizing sometimes the press, goal kicks, other set pieces. A specific lesson I feel like I learned from one of the leaders slash captains when I was an underclassman is like recognizing that everyone has a battle. Everyone is facing challenges. Everyone is facing adversity and demanding 100% of people's 100% on the time is not realistic because sometimes People only have 80%, 70%, 20%, and just recognizing that if they're giving 100% of that, that's all you can ask of someone. People respond differently to different types of communication. Communicate with people in a way that they will actually listen and take in. So like finding ways to do that on the field in high stress situations, I feel like is something that is a huge part of my leadership. I remember the summer before I came in here, my club, we did this like meeting with a sports psych and we were supposed to go over our goals for college soccer. One of mine going into freshman year was I want to play. And the sports psych like sat me down and looked at me and was like, you need to be realistic. And I was just like, ooh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> and so like just coming in and knowing that I'm going to have to fight for everything that I want and now being in this position is, is truly amazing looking back on it. As an upperclassman, you set the standard, set the standard like for practice, set the standard for being on time, like all those little details to really make the team work and make the team better. And it sets an example of hard work and like I'm showing you that I'm willing to fight for you. I'm willing to push myself and you for you. Do the same for me. The legacy or impact I hope to leave on this team is just a standard. Wanting to be the best version of us possible and not settling for anything less because I feel like we are closer than ever. I feel like we all know exactly what we want, are willing to sacrifice for it. I want to leave it behind better than I found it. And I want for it to continue to improve. I want to inspire the girls below me to always strive for more and for greatness.